Um, let's just so go straight into it. Let's right? go straight into let's it. Let's go straight into it. The witness that I'm talking to from Operation Fernbridge made two films of Jimmy Savile. Right. Two very special films of Jimmy Savile. In one of those films, he was abusing a, young, a dead young girl in a mortuary. In the other film, he was filming a dead young boy. Yes, that Jimmy Savile was very much, can, you know, you've only told me this in the last 10 minutes, that Sidney Cook was a friend. With Jimmy Savile. Of, of Jimmy Savile. Robert Maxwell is, uh, was a paedophile. And, and that is it. And, and Robert Maxwell is now dead. And uh, Robert Maxwell, um, our witness, had actually had a sexual encounter with Robert Maxwell and been on his boat quite a few times and seen many, many powerful people there from the media. You know, um, it, it's, a, it's a horrendous story. And then we've got a picture of Prince Andrew around, with his arm around um, an underage prostitute and uh, Robert Maxwell's daughter, Gillespie or Gillespie or something, I can't pronounce her name, it begins with a G, a G and um, she was um, also pushing prostitutes around and she was often on Robert Maxwell's boats when there were party, parties, you know? Charles Napier. Uh, Charles... Yeah, Charles Napier was paedophile information exchange because I've been looking since, you know, you and I had that kind of conversation yeah. about a month ago. I started looking who, who this Charles Napier was. I believe he had a boat which kids would, would go on to the boat yeah, the and boat. they'd go a sailing boat and then the people would Yeah, but they weren't up. just any kids. He had Down syndrome kids and disabled kids on that boat. I believe that the Pilkingtons had something to do with the killing or the, the, the death of my brother Peter. So there you go. And that's the glass people. So um, you Pilkingtons out there, I hope there's at least one of you listening. And I'd love your lawyers to come and come and talk to me and we can talk about Peter Maloney, my brother, who was found dead after, you know, Alistair Pilkington was, had been messing about with him. But we've also got victims coming forward from um, Operation U Tree saying that they don't trust the police, they want it reopened and reinvestigated. Operation Utri is a classic distraction tactic. Uh, what the Metropolitan Police are obviously concerned about is the truth of the Savile paedophile ring coming out. Now I respectfully agree with Tom Watson, I'm in the Tory party, he's in Labour, but uh, he's a good man and I think he was speaking in good faith and he's quite well informed, he's one of the better informed Labour MPs. Now, the, Savile, the problem with Jimmy Savile was that his paedophile ring was protected from within the Cabinet Office. That is because the Cabinet Secretary of the day, John Hunt, was a paedophile, and so was the Prime Minister Edward Heath. We're going back to the early 70s. Right. Uh, both are now dead, of course. Now, Savile was supplying boys to, teenage boys, underage boys, to Heath and Hunt. That meant that his ring was protected because it was protected, uh, Savile had lived with no fear of arrest whatsoever. Right. But at the moment, um, security is, um, is, is highlighted, if you like. Andrew came down to London two weeks ago from Hull up north, and um, we had people watching him and watching me to see if he or we were being followed. And we were being followed. We were being followed by a police officer. And Andrew also pointed out a police officer from Operation Fernbridge on the tube train. If you look at the guy who's in charge, DCI Settle, he's the guy in charge of Operation Fernbridge. Right. That's his name, right? He's a detective inspector, Settle. He was head of the Royal Protection. He used to do, he used to protect the Queen. Why? Why? Why Why are you there, Settle? Why are you there? Why have you told Andrew he's not allowed to talk about the Royals? Why have you told Andrew that he's not to talk about the serving politician or the serving chancellor? Why are you following him everywhere? When we went up, because I'm in the middle of making a documentary with this guy, and when we went up to his house, he had been bugged. A bug was found in his house. Operation Fernbridge asked him for his door keys. Lou, you've also, you've also got a distancing of different fractions of the, of the police force. Because the police that I work with, 
are not from Operation Fernbridge. I haven't heard anything from Operation Fernbridge apart from one of them following me. Right. I haven't heard anything from Operation Utree. And like you say, there is royalty involved. There's no two ways about it. Everyone is involved, the hierarchy. They, that was their playground. They've done what they wanted to do. I believe that there's going to be a big name coming out this weekend. I hope it's coming out because I've been promised by the national media that it's been coming out for a few weeks. But there is a guy that I've been working with in the national media, and he's a good guy. So, you know, maybe have a look at the, um, the English papers this Sunday. I, that's all I can say. <laughs> if they don't name, right, this high cabinet minister... Right, who was in Margaret Thatcher's time? Very, very powerful man. If they don't name it this weekend, I'll name it next week. How's that? I'll come okay. on your show and I'll name this bastard who done it, because I've got a list that would bring this country to its knees. Uh, you know, it's like the female politician that no one that they won't name. You know what I mean? Yeah. I, I can't. I can't name who I know, she, who I she know, was. I know, but there's but so I'll most be, people. Well, have got I'll, it. I'll tell most you what. Most people have got it. Yeah. But, you know, when, when, when paedophilia, you know what I mean, so this, this subject, when it starts affecting what you're eating and what you're not, you know, I can't eat a curry anymore. 